Hey, Shay, thanks for coming on. And can you tell the audience about yourself? Sure. Yeah, my name is Shai Rojanski. I work for Microsoft in the uh, .NET Data and EF team. That means that I spend my day to day working on anything having to do with uh, database and data access on the client in .NET. You're likely using components that I've worked on. The team's main uh, thing is EF. So I spend a lot of time actually working on EF, uh, fixing bugs, implementing new features. I have a specific interest in performance, um, so optimization and making things go faster. Uh, that's a complicated topic, as anybody knows who's done performance, especially when you look at database uh, performance, what that actually means. That's another favorite, let's say, topic of mine. That's great. Yeah, I use EF Core every day, so thank you. Awesome. Let's jump over to the topic and maybe some details and digging into your talk mm -hmm. that you're going to be doing at the update conference in November. Right. So at the moment, there's one talk of mine that's been, that's been accepted. It's a bit of an odd title. Uh, it's not the most exciting title in the world, in a way. It's all about what you do in order to test your EF applications, or what does testing even mean for uh, applications accessing databases? It's a very traditional topic, right? It's like everybody does applications with databases and everybody does some form of testing. And it sounds kind of boring. I kind of thought, is this really a talk that's yeah. interesting in the beginning? And the more I went into it, the more I found it actually fascinating. So it's a great opportunity to think about what testing actually means, what it is that you're actually testing. There's very different kinds of testing paradigms there. So do you try to mock the database kind of like abstract it away and use an in-memory collection or should you test against your real database and what's the pros and cons of each approach and, and so on and so forth even when you want to cut out your database and you want to do unit tests without the real database there's so many different approaches there right you can use the ef core in-memory provider that's a thing that a lot of people do and we actually highly discourage or sqlite for example or a completely different approach would be to uh, use a repository pattern for example so these are oddly philosophical sort of questions which in this talk also gave me, while preparing this, a lot of opportunity to think about these questions in a more theoretical way, and that's what the talk is kind of developed around. But there's also a lot of concrete details on if you are now writing, you know, tests that access your database and so on, what are the pitfalls? What are the good patterns for doing so? How you should do this so that your tests also run very quickly as well? Uh, one of the reasons people usually avoid uh, testing against real databases is it's supposed to be very slow, right, and, and complicated. So I try to show in this, in this talk that that's not necessarily the case in 20 25 as long as you do things right so it's kind of a, a pretty broad thing it has its more uh, theoretical philosophical almost sides and then it has its more concrete sides at the second uh, half of the talk and i personally think that there's a very big discrepancy in terms of how basic and boring the title sounds and how actually interesting and full of content it is like i myself was surprised when preparing so well i'm gonna be there so i'm looking forward to seeing you in november thank you and have a great summer and thank you very we'll see much you in november absolutely Absolutely.